Good morning, everybody. Ryan here with Southern Reptiles. Another beautiful day in paradise, and I am getting ready to head over to C and P Growers. It's a nursery out here off North Lake Boulevard in Loxahatchee, and that's in now uh, North Palm Beach County in South Florida. And I'm heading over there because I stopped in there the other day to buy, look at some plants and buy some stuff and. They have a huge koi setups, and I ended up speaking with the owner, and he wanted to buy some turtles. So I'm going to sell them some turtles and also do a little tour of their facility. Um, it's a beautiful place, the setups that they have, and they're actually adding a little bit more. And uh, I think you guys will find it pretty interesting. So stick along for the ride. Check it out. Don't forget to pump the stock. Give me the uh, subscribe, the thumbs up, and hit that bell notification. The future content, I'm going to be doing one to two videos a week from here on out. And uh, yeah, so let's uh, check it out and tag along. All right, so I have arrived. There it is, C&P Growers. I'll show you guys around. All right, guys, I'm over here at CMP Growers. This place is awesome. One of the, the, all the koi setups are beautiful. Take a look at that. We'll show you that in a minute. That's where the turtles are gonna be going. But Trey here is running the place and uh, he's giving me a little rundown on what we, what we got koi-wise. Yeah, these are our uh, peanut koi here. Um, these are the babies. And uh, we, we keep them in a separate tank. We don't sell the peanuts until they get uh, a certain size. Um, but we have all price ranges of, uh, of koi. They're beautiful. Yeah. And these are all butterflies? These are standards. And oh, butterfly. these are st these are standard and yeah. butterfly. Yeah, okay. There's a mix in here. Okay, um, yeah. I, yeah, yeah, I you see, can some. see some of them. Yeah. yeah, the butterfly have the longer fins. Yeah. But once they get a little bit bigger, we do separate them. Gotcha. And, uh, got the uh the standard koi um just a standard nothing special um these are four to five inch and we also have some six to eight inch okay um these are the the lower priced ones um okay so these are your more average koi yeah, yeah. and these how much do these run about eight, eight? So, so these are eight dollars for okay. the four to five inch and um the six to eight inch are twenty dollars okay inch. and yeah. um when you start to get to the premium and the uh, the ultra premium, yeah. the prices go up. Yeah, definitely. I know there. Okay. But eight 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 bucks for the uh, four to five inch is actually a pretty good price. I yeah. mean, considering what you pay at Petco and PetSmart right. and all that. Right. Yeah. Yeah, and we've got some white catfish in here. These are actually we're growing these to uh, put in our larger tank once they get a little bit bigger. These aren't currently for sale. But once they get a certain size, we'll start selling the white catfish and the, and the so you So like the ultimate goal is to kind of breed them or just raise them up to sell them? The idea is to raise them, to sell them. A lot of people out, out where we live, out here in the acres, we've got a lot of ponds. And yeah. uh, these are really good for playing in the bottom of the ponds, getting some of the muck out. And they stand out. Yeah. yeah. And they definitely, you can see them. So is that, that is that water. is that genetic or is there just a white cat? So cat? these are, um, these are just a white um, some they're not true albino they're just a true white catfish okay so they've found naturally in that, yep, that color yeah cool so here's uh, some premium koi we've got some four to five inch in here those are eleven dollars and then we've got some six to eight inch um those are 32 but you can see um they have a, a lot more markings as far as color goes yep um you can start to get to the premium beautiful and then we've got the uh the the premium select will be the next ones we'll see and you'll see that they have a lot more yeah they're really moving around you guys got some killer filtration through that water yeah. oh yeah crystal yeah. crystal yeah clear. all of these tanks run off of one uh, filter one giant these are tilapia. filter these are again Floppy. these are babies okay um we'll put these into the bigger tank once they get a little bit bigger if we were to put the small ones in there um their chance of survival with the bigger fish in there the, big, the bigger tilapia will, will yeah. actually eat the they smaller will. tilapia they will eat them. yeah, yeah. So here's some uh, some standard premium select. So oh, wow. um, Brandon's got a couple out here, just so you can kind of see. Beautiful. Um, those are six to eight inch. Okay. 
and uh, these are $36 a piece of grow cut. Um, but you can see back there, there's quite a few yeah, different, nice you can see the, there. there's some Hikaris in there, and um, there's awesome. a few different markings in there. Cool. It's quite a variety. Beautiful. And then we've got pond goldfish over here. Um, these are a little bit bigger. Yeah, yeah, everybody loves the standard pond goldfish. They're yeah. easy to keep and yeah, and these are really bright orange expensive. color. Yeah. yeah, what are these run? These are a 375. Yeah, so cheap fish and they're beautiful. They get about what six inches or so. They can get like four to six inches. Okay. Um, and some of them uh, are kind of darker color. Yeah, um, some of them have some cool and some pattern. Have some gold they, as well. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. I might yeah. have to grab a couple of those actually. Those are nice. So then we've got some uh, same kind of fish leveling system. We've got premium select, we've got standard butterfly, okay. we've got premium butterfly. There's only one guy in here right now. This is the larger one. So cool. 10 inch. Um, if you'll look over here, this is five to six inch. There's quite a few in here. Um, these are all butterfly. Uh, but, a little bit more. These are uh, premium. Five, yeah. Six for $20. Yeah. I know the butterfly are, are more sought after. Yeah, they really more stand out. Yeah. I see you got a pleco in there. Yeah. 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 So we've got some plecos. Yeah. Typically don't sell our plecos. Um, you just use, use them for them cleaning? For cleaning our tanks. Um, okay. These are premium selects. Gotcha. Uh, you can see there's a lot more markings on them. And, so We've these are some high dollar butterflies. Yeah. So these are about forty dollars. Yeah, yeah, these are forty dollars on the but, and the smaller ones in here, um, they're gonna be twenty dollars. Yeah, but you could see how they're not skittish at all. They're like yeah. ready to come up to you and eat well, food we, right out of your hand. We hair. regularly feed them twice a day so that, you know, they, they become really accustomed and yeah. used to that. And, uh, awesome. You know, they, they will, they can tell the difference between uh, people. You know, they, they, they can see us as well as we can see them. So, the same thing with turtles uh, and tortoises, man. With my, my, especially the tortoises, but... Yeah. The turtles too, but with the tortoises, I mean, they they come running. They, when they see you coming up, they come running at you for food. Yeah. Like if it's someone that's other than Randy or I, they yeah. come up here, they will be a little bit yeah. more skittish. But until you know, they get used to them. Yeah. Um, and this is uh, the tilapia and the catfish that are currently able to sell. We don't sell the ones that are in the bigger tanks. We we transfer them over here as as we sell these. Okay. These are mostly all blue. There's a couple catfish in there. And uh, another cool thing we just started, uh, we sell bait fish here. So we sell shiners. Yeah, and um, it's not always easy to find shiners yeah, either. Yeah, yeah, we've got domestic, we've got three different sizes. We got number 12s, number 20s. You keep, them in, you yeah. keep them in here? Yeah, we keep them in Why the lid, because they jump or they? Um, the lid is to keep it uh, cool. Yeah, this they. Is, uh, I know they need to be we, in we cool chill the water. water. Yeah. Um, you know, here in, in Florida, we get some pretty high temperatures and oh, yeah. if we don't do this uh, during the summer so uh, they won't make it the water temperature gets pretty high but we have a chiller on this as well so oh, okay. so it keeps it at 60 degrees so do you run the chiller even like right now yeah, when yep. it's yeah cool? and the chiller's got a thermometer on it on the external thermometer you okay it's so at 60 degrees over so there. it keeps it at a standard yeah, it temp. keeps it at a very constant 60 degree temperature cool and what what is uh a dozen or two so, dozen china so a throughout? dozen uh um they go from the smaller smallest ones are three inch and okay. uh, those are eight dollars a dozen and then okay. we go three and a half to four inch those are going to be 11. okay and then we've got brooders that are four inches and bigger and those are cool. 22 dollars a dozen you ever get shad uh, no, no, not, not yet. This is uh, this is pretty new for us. It's been about yeah. probably four months. So we, I know a lot of uh, people watching people going after like the uh, clown knife fish and things like that. They look for those uh, big shad. I think you can get them in like Lake Ida and Lake uh -huh. Osborne. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We we may in the future uh, make it where we can get some minnows or or maybe even some shad. We we haven't really explored too much. But yeah, this, is, yeah. this has been a really good seller for us. A lot of people come in, especially with kids. Yeah. Kids like to come in here and look at all the fish. And, well, yeah, and there's and a lot of great fishing, fishing spots yeah. out this way and not too many places people yeah. you know, sell them. So. so the middle tank is really um, kind of a grow tank for us. It's, uh, yeah. It allows the fish to get larger faster. Yeah. Um, so this is where the turtles are going to be going in. And look at 
This, look at how beautiful this thing is. This is just awesome. We sell aquatic plants here as well. So like all of these are for sale. Okay, um, cool. So if people are looking for a place to get aquatics. Um, awesome. We've got, we've got a little variety here. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's nice, all the plants and- I added some, some wood here. This is just a regular old yeah. firewood that just got cut. Um, yeah, so that's uh, Australian pine, mm -hmm. which is good. You don't, um, generally you don't want to put regular uh, native pine in the water. Something that's in it uh, uh, can harm turtles. Or, so Australian pine is good to use with that. Good, good to know. Yeah, and then also the, the log you put in over here. Yeah, so one's... the turtles have a sunspot to uh, get out and bask. And it's important for them to uh, bask and thermal regulate their body temperature yeah our uh, our whole koi house here is, is covered with a with a shade cloth so most of the time there's not a lot of sun this is a spot at the end yep um on the eastern side that, that uh yeah the southern side that allows us to get a little sunlight yeah no that's a per perfect spot for sure what uh what kind of plants are these so that's a variegated cattail okay yeah, I never and seen then I've those. Got, um, all of these are oxygenating plants. These yeah. are um, really good for any kind of uh, small pond. Is that hydrilla? That or... one is, um, I believe, it's, um, it's it's not hydrilla. It looks similar to hydrilla. Yeah, it, it does look similar. Only to hydrilla them. grows like insanely fast. Like it like grows like crazy. Yeah, this one here actually is money work. What it, what is it? It's a money work. Okay. Cool. All right, so I guess we'll uh, let these guys go. Let the turtles in. Let them in, enjoy the, the the paradise. So, is there a, a way to release these? Or um, generally, what I do is I just put them on the log, and when they're ready to jump in, they jump in. So there's the two razorbacks, and they got plenty of stuff to cling on to and hang on to. They're not amazing swimmers, and this isn't very deep. Uh, Trey actually drained the water a little bit, and they got plenty of pots and things, plants and everything to uh, cling on to. And, and then here, here are the red ears going in. So those are the caramel red-eared slider, and they're het for snow. And I believe they are three females. That one <laughs> already <off>. took off. <laughs> Like, where's the food at? <laughs> yeah, that pink color is beautiful it's on them. Pretty. <laughs> yeah. He's ready to go. Cool. Yeah, the Razorbacks are a little more shy. They'll they'll come around though. Uh, blue tilapia. We've got the white tilapia, and we've also got what's called golden. And the golden look pink, and they'll have some spots. And okay. again, a lot of people like these for um, out here in Loxahatchee. Yeah. Um, our ponds get just full of algae and all kinds of uh, some native, um, you know, uh, lily pads and things like that. And these tilapia will really help keep that stuff under control. Cool. Um, they're, they're great for that. How many different uh, tilapia species do you think are in here? Oh, man, we have three different types here. Yeah. Um, there's some that aren't allowed to be sold in Florida. Okay. So, uh, we used to stick with um, the ones that are, that are legally sold here, which is sure. the white, the blue, and the golden. Yeah. Um, I think there's a few other varieties that you can that are available. We just uh, we carry these three. Cool. Um, yeah, this tank is. Uh, how how uh, what's the diameter on this thing? Um, so they're um, so they're 18 foot across. Eight. Wow. Yeah. 18 yeah. foot. That's like a you're swimming pool at, right there, man. That's looking at a little over 3,000 gallons. So about 3,000 gallons, 18 feet long, and, and it's about three feet into the ground. Wow. Yeah, that's uh, awesome. And you and see got here, two I'm, of them. <laughs> I'm, trying get, I'm trying to get the catfish to come up, but uh, they're uh, they're over there under the shade cloth. Yeah. The, the shade cloth is something that we added to help fight off the algae. Definitely. Um, you know, a, a really good way to also fight off the algae is to uh, have of aquatic plants, uh, yeah. lily pads and things like that. They're Definitely. gonna help create shade. Yeah. Um, they're gonna take some of that sun um, sunlight yeah. away uh, that allows the algae to grow. Yeah, some um, water lettuce or something. Yeah, yeah. So I'm actually just uh, been 
cleaning this one, uh, we, we clean these a uh, couple times a week. We cool. back flush them through our system. and uh, Awesome. Um, it's a lot of work. Uh, you just got to maintain it. It's about consistency. Yeah. Um, you know, it's it's like taking care of a pool. <laughs> yeah. If you miss a week, then you got to yep. start all over. I know all about that, man. So, I got a know, salt water pool, and as long as you stay on it, it's easy. But if yeah. you let a month go by, then you're you're yeah. <laughs> you're yeah, gonna have to backtrack and get really it all. Consistency and, and, yeah. You know, with all of out, out here in the elements, we just have a lot of sun on these tanks, unlike yeah. the ones under. Underneath yeah. The shade house over here. So Trey, Trey was explaining before what they use to. You notice that there's not much algae in it, which is very difficult with the Florida sun. But the aeration helps. But he also has if, over here. You see, um, he's got. Um, these are basically they're it's UVB, so the water flows through them and kills off the algae basically, yep. right? I mean, that essentially in layman's terms. So those are key to uh, outdoor, anything that doesn't have a cover like the indoor one we saw before. And you wanna get you know, a UV that's um, rated for how many gallons of water you're putting through it. Yeah, you don't wanna get a, cause um, it's not gonna do the too job. Small. Like we, this is actually on the smaller side for this system, but if you'll notice the valves, how we have it where you know, we slow down the water flow and allow it to go through there. Okay. Uh, and uh, it, it seems to work pretty good. And the aeration yeah. helps With as the well. aeration, uh, we've got some pretty big aerators that- And a little bit of sun shade too yeah. helps. Yeah, this. once we added this this sun cloth, that, that was really the, um, that made the, all the difference in the world. Yeah. And definitely. it's only about, you know, it's it's covering half of the tank, um, yeah. but it, it also makes it difficult to catch the fish. <laughs> so, <Yeah. laughs> they like to get under that. So we, when we go to, to try to retrieve them, uh, we yeah. have to pull that back. Yeah, but, gotcha. But we've been using these uh, other traps to get them as well. Yeah, cool. Yeah, so look, I mean, look at this place is one stop shop. They got plants everywhere, all kinds of plants for sale. They, they got shiners, they got, I mean, they got everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and we've got a, fruit, a lot of fruit trees. Um, we've got statuary as well. Um, we've got a, this house behind me is full of picnic tables, concrete picnic tables and benches. Like you see the benches out here in front. Okay, uh, cool. You know, we've just got quite a big Stuff selection. that you would put maybe next to your pond or yeah, something like that. a lot that. of stuff yeah. for your gardens. Yeah, cool, man. So, uh, and what what is the uh, address to get here? It's uh, 15742 North Lake Boulevard. Okay, and, um, I'll, I'll so put that just, up on the uh, Yeah, we're just channel. at the end of, of uh, North Lake, all the way west. Yeah, west um, end of North Lake. Go. Yeah, almost so to Seminole Pratt. Pratt. Yeah. yeah, real close to the Corbett area. Yep, and they uh, are open. We're open Tuesday uh, through Friday from seven to five, and then Saturdays were eight to four. Okay. And do you know if you guys have any social media or any? Um, we do have a Facebook page. Okay, so uh, I'll CMP Growers. I'll see, okay, CMP Growers. I'll put the link up for that on the on the video. Yeah, please like us on Facebook for sure. Yeah, throw them a like, and uh, you know, if you're in the Palm Beach County area, definitely worth coming to check out. These guys are super friendly. If you need bait fish, pond fish, plants, anything that you name it, they got it. So. Thanks, Trey. We yeah. appreciate the uh, oh, appreciate tour. appreciate you, and, Ryan. Yeah, thank you. I'm excited to have your turtles on board with us. Yeah, man. All right, signing out. All right, folks, I hope you enjoyed the episode as much as I did. I had a great time visiting CMP Growers and checking out all the koi ponds and all the different fish they have available. Uh, feel free to visit them. You know, the address is on the page, and I'm also going to put it and the subscription along with their Facebook link. So you can click that link and like their Facebook page. And if you're down in the Palm Beach County area on vacation or you live down here, feel free to check them out. And also feel free to visit my website at southernreptiles.net to see what I currently have available, which is, uh, you know, I have uh, uh, all kinds of uh, leopard tortoises, redfoot tortoises, spotted turtles, uh, eastern box turtle, um, a little, just a, a, a little bit of everything. Um, some red-eared slider morphs, uh, all kinds of stuff. Hermans, 
I have one marginated tortoise. Um, yeah, and stuff's hatching daily. So thank you for tagging along and, I, and uh, have a great night.